Hey friends! My name is Desiree, aka Mama Friendly, and I do all sorts of videos on my channel, from cooking videos to planner videos, vlogs, hauls, homeschool videos with a Disney twist, a little bit of everything. So if any of these things sound like fun to you, I hope that you'll subscribe and join me on my YouTube adventure. This video is yet another installment of the cookbook collab hosted by my friend Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. She's been hosting these all year long and this might be the last one in the series. For this month, I, of course, like many people, have the holidays on my mind. I'm Hispanic, Cuban specifically, and so for us, the big celebration is Christmas Eve night or Noche Buena. And we celebrate it by eating lechon and tamales and arroz con frijoles and all sorts of amazing delicious foods that we look forward to all year round. So safe to say dinner is covered. But what about Christmas morning? So this book might be familiar to you if you watched last month's cookbook collab. I'll post a link up here to my video where I made cranberry sauce from this very same book. And if you're interested in owning it for yourself, I'm gonna have it linked in the description box below. But I decided for this month, I'd make a Christmas morning recipe that can be prepared the day before so that while you're opening gifts, you can just pop it in the oven and have breakfast ready when you are. And of course, just like me, it's paleo, which means it's entirely gluten and dairy free naturally. I wanna remind you before we begin our recipe that this is a playlist. So once you're finished watching my recipe, you can go into the description box of my video, click the link to the playlist and see what all of my friends made this month as well. So without any further ado, let me show you how I made Danielle Walker's sausage breakfast bake. As always, we will begin with our ingredients. I know it looks like a lot of stuff, but this is meant to serve 10 people, so it all works out in the end. You need 12 ounces of sweet Italian sausage with the casings removed and the meat crumpled up. I just bought ground Italian sausage. Two cups of shredded kale leaves, just the leaves, so you wanna remove the stems and the ribs. 14 eggs, a half cup of full fat coconut milk, two tablespoons of chopped fresh basil, a tablespoon of chopped fresh parsley, I'm using dry because it's what I have, a teaspoon of thyme, teaspoon of fine sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, but I do not measure black pepper. You also need a pound of white sweet potato. Any kind of white flesh variety will do. You want it peeled and shredded and two tomatoes thinly sliced. So I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees and in a shallow five quart brazier or 14 inch cast iron skillet, I'm going with the cast iron. You're gonna cook your sausage over medium heat until it's browned and mostly cooked through. At this point, you can add your kale leaves and continue cooking for about five more minutes or until the kale is wilted. While the kale and the sausage are doing their thing, I'm gonna go ahead and peel slash grate my one pound of white sweet potatoes that ended up being three potatoes for me. So that way I am ready for the next step. The potatoes are ready and set aside. I've already turned off the heat for the sausage mixture and I've drained the grease. So right now I kind of just have it on standby. And in the meantime, in a large bowl, I'm gonna whisk together my 14 eggs, my half cup of full fat coconut milk, the basil, parsley, thyme, salt, and pepper. Just a side note, are these not the most orange yolks you've ever seen in your life? It's not a trick with the lighting or anything, I promise. It's the same lighting I always use. They really were just super, super bright orange in real life. I was so impressed with the color of these eggs. Thank you. 
Now that my egg mixture is ready, I'm going to mix all of my sweet potato into it as well. I'm gonna combine it thoroughly. And then this mixture is gonna go back into the hot cast iron pan with the sausage and the kale. I'm gonna do my best to kind of make sure that everything is evenly distributed throughout. You can prepare the casserole up through this point up to two whole days in advance. You can just cover it up and store it in the refrigerator until it's ready to bake. So you can prepare it on Christmas Eve. You can even prepare it the day before that and know that when you wake up Christmas morning, all you have to do is preheat your oven and in no time at all, breakfast will be ready by the time you're done unwrapping presents. I've got a nice ripe tomato that I've cut in thin slices and I'm going to try to make a cute design on top while still assuring that every bite gets some tomato. You now want to cover the whole pan up with foil and bake it for 30 minutes. At that point, you want to remove the foil and continue baking for another 15 minutes or until the center is set. I'm gonna be honest, maybe it's because I used a slightly smaller pan, so my frittata or casserole was a little thicker, but I ended up baking mine for about an hour total before the center was set to my liking. All right, friends, that's how I am making my Christmas morning breakfast this year. I can confirm that the leftovers reheat great in the oven. I actually ate this for like three days in a row and it was better and better each time. And I also like that it's really versatile because you can of course dress it up with cheese and I'm sure that that would just knock it out of the park. But you can maybe make it with bacon instead of sausage or you can make it with different veggies, different herbs. You can totally tailor this to your family's tastes. If you decide that you're gonna make this recipe for yourself, I would love for you to come on back and let me know how you and your family liked it. And as always, I wanna thank Tamara so much for coming up with this idea and hosting. I've had so much fun participating in these collabs every month this year. And who knows, maybe we can convince her to bring it back in 2022. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching and happy holidays. Bye.